In late 2009, cinema as we know it underwent a major revolution, as this was when the landmark movie Avatar was released in theaters. Avatar featured breathtaking computer-generated special effects, but even more significantly, it was in three dimensions, 3D. Thanks in large part to its 3D technology, Avatar went on to earn well over 2 billion US dollars and movie makers around the world took notice. Now, as 3D movies are popping up everywhere, movie lovers are reaping the benefits of this remarkable technology. These films generate a 3D effect by creating false depth perception on the screen. When the film is being shot, cameras record images from two different perspectives. Then, special eyewear like 3D glasses is worn by moviegoers to provide the illusion of depth. 3D technology may seem new and amazing, but it has actually been around for a long time. The first 3D film shown to the public was released in Los Angeles in 1922. However, 3D films struggled to gain widespread appeal. In the 1980s, 3D movies started making a comeback, largely thanks to IMAX, which began displaying spectacular 3D movies on its huge screens. Finally, in the 2000s, 3D cinema entered the mainstream as Hollywood began to take advantage of 3D technology. Hollywood quickly realized that 3D not only adds a new twist to the movie-going experience, but it also makes viewers feel like they're part of the action. In fact, 3D is becoming so popular that many classic movies are scheduled to be re-released in 3D, including The Lord of the Rings and Star Wars trilogies. Even though 3D movies are enjoying widespread popularity all over the world, there is still room for improvement, and some people are even critical of the rise of 3D. Critics say that 2D movies already provide enough depth perception, and that 3D does not add much value to a film. Furthermore, many people claim 3D movies often induce headaches and motion sickness. Despite these flaws, 3D cinema continues to rise in popularity and, at least for now, it looks like it's a trend that is here to stay.